Hello, friends, and uh, welcome back to this Community Medicine audio podcast. Today is September of 15th. We are going to discuss an important topic that is a uh, couple of times students have asked me about standard errors, the relation of standard errors with precision, sample size, and range. So, what happens is uh, when we gather a lot of data, let us say if you are taking blood pressure readings from maybe five individuals or 10 individuals. So my BP reading would be, let us say, the systolic blood pressure is 140 by 100. Somebody else would be 128 by 98. Somebody else would be 160 by something. And somebody else would be, let us say, 170 to 180. So whenever the reading numbers, the frequency of observations or the sample size is less, the chances to get erroneous readings or the chances to get a higher range, the range of the data may vary significantly. So there are like five observations or 10 observations and the observations would be spaced very differently. And when we are gathering data on a larger scale, let us say we take down 10,000 individuals and then we find out how these people are spreading. Then if you plot those things on a normal distribution curve, it is going to give a smoother kind of curve. And we say, we tend to say that the chances of getting the error would decrease. So technically, if you're doing sample size of 1000 individuals and you're doing them again and again, the chances, if you plot the mean of the means on a normal distribution curve, the range would be lesser. Are you under, able to understand this point? that the range, I am not talking about the individual person's range. Now the range is in terms of the mean of the means conducted in different studies. So once you gather a lot of data, once the sample size increases, it is said that the range would definitely decrease and the tendency of the values to be around the mean will increase. So more values will start coming towards the mean that phenomena is known as regression to mean so that that's uh, in advanced statistics that, that's how the nature also works let us say you join a job for the first time you will do things erroneously you will do your own thing you think that probably these people don't know how to do things so you will do something left you will do something right you will say these things are not in proper place and you will do things according to your experience and then slowly over time, when you when the number of days in that particular organization would keep on increasing, 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 what will you tend to do? You will tend to follow the same pattern which that organization was already doing. So that is known as mean of that particular organization. And what you are doing is regressing towards the mean. Let us say there is a fancy car or there is a fancy hotel in which you wanted to stay or let us say there is a fancy thing which you wanted to do in life. So you do it once, you do it twice, but then you stop doing it and you tend to revert back to what is normal for you. These phenomena are known as regression to means. That is, you tend to do what is normal, you tend to do what is the average, you tend to do what is the mean. So in the same manner, when the frequency of observation, the data values would increase. So if the data values increase, there is a phenomenon of regression to mean and more number of values will lie towards the mean. And therefore, we say that the range of the data sets or the mean of the means would decrease. So finally, we come to this understanding that as the sample size increase or as the number of frequencies increase, the range will decrease. So if the range will decrease, I think, but obviously now it becomes easy that the standard errors would decrease. So now if the standard errors are decreasing, I think we all know that what is precision? Precision means a repeatability. Precision means a reproducibility. Precision means the probability of getting the same results again and again. So if the standard errors are decreasing, if you understand that there is a phenomenon of regression towards mean, if you understand there's a phenomenon of, norm, uh, of reverting back towards normalcy, when we gather huge amount of data, that means what happens to the precision? The precision has to decrease, has to increase. So that means the take home message that you should be understanding is 
that as the sample size in the world, in the universe, in this planet, in this researches increase, as the number of observations increase, the chances of getting erroneous results will decrease. That means there is a phenomena of regression to mean regression towards normalcy. That means there is decrease in the standard errors. That further means there is increase in the precision of that particular entity. So with that, I'd like to thank you for listening. But uh, there is one more point that always there should be a balance in life. As we say that number of observations increase, there is a phenomenon of regression to mean. I would also like to say that some students, they are too much panicking. And some students, on the other hand, are too much in the leisure mode. If there was no winter season, only summer season all the time, or if there was no monsoon, only droughts all the time, or if there was no autumn, only winters all the time, the world would not have been a good place to live. There has to be summers, there has to be winters, there has to be spring and autumn and monsoons. So try to take all things in a very balanced way. Try not to be too much aggressive about a thing. Try to maintain your emotional, your mental and your social balance in life. That is very, very important. You should not tighten the screw so much that it breaks open. You should not let it lose so much that it falls apart. The function of the screw in any place is to bind things things together. And that's what knowledge does. You should be studying, but not so much that it disturbs your mental and social well-being. And you should be relaxing also in between, not so much that it again disturbs your mental and social well-being. So it's just a matter of few hours a day or just a matter of discipline, making discipline in your days that you will train yourself to keep the balance in life. Work is important. Family is important. Friends are important. Studies is important. Religion is important. Spirituality is important. So maintain all the things. Have a very good day ahead. All the very best. Bye-bye.